In this video, I have compiled a list of the top 5 best inkjet printers in the market that are worth buying. So let's get started. Number 5 While the other picks in this article are all great printers, they're mainly designed for general purposes like everyday printing and scanning. If you're looking specifically to print photos and want the best print quality you can get, the Canon Image ProGraph Pro 300 is your best bet. It produces incredibly detailed, vibrant, and colorful photos with no bending or other artifacts, and it can print on wide format paper sizes up to 13 inches by 19 inches. You can connect to the printer via Wi-Fi, USB, or Ethernet, however, it doesn't support printing from USB flash drives and SD cards. Of course, there are some downsides to specialized printers like this one. First, there are 9 ink cartridges to replace, and they're rather expensive, so the cost per print is quite high for photo printing. Second, it's a print-only model, meaning you'll need to get a separate scanner if you want to digitize or make copies of old photos. Last but not least, it prints very slowly, taking more than 2 minutes to produce a 4 inches by 6 inches photo, so you'll have to be patient. If you print a lot and worry about high maintenance costs, get the Epson EcoTank Photo A8550. Its refillable ink tank yields significantly more prints than the Canon, and its replacement ink is much cheaper. It also has a flatbed scanner and can print directly off an SD card. The print quality is outstanding but isn't as color accurate as the Canon because it tends to oversaturate the colors to make them more vibrant and punchy. Number 4 Our best mid-range inkjet pick is the Brother MFC, J4335DW, a simple all-in-one printer that's designed for home use. It prints over 2000 color and 800 black pages before you need to replace the ink cartridges, so the cost per print is very low, and it's eligible for Brothers Ink subscription service, which might further help save some cash. Its printing speed is great, but you'll have to refill the input tray often during large print jobs because it can only hold 150 sheets of paper. It has an ADF equipped scanner that processes up to 20 pages per minute plenty of connectivity options, and mobile app support. It prints exceptionally high-quality documents, and while it doesn't have the best color range and accuracy, it still produces very detailed photos. Overall, it's a great option for most households, and one of the best all-in-one inkjet printers we've tested. Number 3 if you don't need the high page yields of a super dank printer and prefer to save some money, the HP OfficeJet Pro 9025E might be a better choice. It has Wi-Fi, USB, and Ethernet connectivity, and you can also print directly from a USB flash drive. The scanner has many features, including an automatic document feeder, duplex scanning capability, single pass, and optical character recognition OCR. The latter lets you scan documents into text files for quick keyword searches. The ink cartridges yield a large number of prints, around 1100 black and 700 color, and you can further increase the yield with Excel cartridges. Also, this model comes with 6 months of ink via HP Instant Ink, a subscription service that delivers ink to you when the printer detects low ink levels. It prints fairly quickly at 16 black or 14 color pages per minute and supports automatic double-sided printing. The design allows easy access to a paper jams and ink cartridges, and the power cord is removable, so it's easy to replace if it gets damaged. Number 2 Best inkjet printer we've tested is the Epson EcoTank Pro A5850. A super dank model with tons of features and all around great performance. It's a pretty large printer that'll take up a lot of room on your desk, but it feels sturdily built, with a design that allows quick access to paper jams. It wakes up quickly from an idle state, prints up to 25 black or color pages per minute, and supports automatic double sided printing. 
the ink tanks yield about 4,900 black or 2,500 color pages, meaning you won't have to refill them often. Plus, the ink bottles are cheap, which helps keep your maintenance costs low. This model produces very high quality documents. For photos, the pictures look detailed and colorful but grainy. Connectivity options include USB, Wi Fi, and Ethernet, and it supports Apple AirPrint and Mapria print service. It has an ADF equipped scanner with duplex scanning capability, so you can quickly process multi page and double sided documents. If you find the A5850 too expensive, there's a cheaper option. The Epson EcoTank Pro A5180. It yields more prints than the A5850, however, it doesn't feel as well built and prints very slowly at 14 black or 8 color pages per minute. It also has a smaller input tray, so you'll have to refill it more often. Number 1 the Epson EcoTank A4760 stands as the best inkjet printer overall in its class due to its combination of print quality, connection options, and low running costs. At 10 inches long by 16.4 inches wide by 19.8 inches high and weighing only 15 pounds, this model comes in a relatively small package. Most inkjet printers of a similar price point are much bigger and heavier. Yet the EcoTank 4760 can still hold 250 pages in its single drawer. It produces excellent text and photos at a decent speed. However, creatives or those with a discerning eye might notice a slight quality deficiency in photo printing when compared to other models designed specifically for photo printing. A touchscreen display manages all of the walk-up functions, like configuration changes, making copies, or scanning to or printing from the cloud. It also includes a built-in website, a feature pretty common to most printers these days, which makes it easy to check paper and ink usage. This model can connect via Ethernet, USB, or wireless. This offers plenty of options for home use or a small office. The machine's connectivity also includes peer-to-peer -peer protocol, so you can connect it to a smartphone and other mobile devices for direct printing. You can also teach the printer voice commands for use with Alexa or Google Assistant. The only downside to this model is its relatively low duty cycle. It's only rated to print 800 pages per month. For home use, that's fine, but for some offices, that might not be enough. Thanks for watching guys, that's all for now I hope you guys liked this video. If this video is helpful to you, please make sure to like comment and subscribe. Hope to see you guys in the next video.